Three, two, one, action. Esta semana en Dos Lobos. Thank you so much, Usher, for all that you've done for this podcast. Tell him, tell him the Karate Kids let you know that the other Karate Kid. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You can say, know. dude, the guy with the mohawk said, it's chill if I hit you up. D. Simmons, or what's his name? D. Snyder. Richard Simmons. Oh, Richard Simmons from Kiss. <laughs> Hold on. Three, two, one, go. Come on, come on, come on. You're in your single. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> Just like my Dude, real life. Dude, I love you. Hey, wait, Jordan, switch around. So you your see. feet are in my single in real life as well. <laughs> 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 Dude, wow. It doesn't take much to, for this guy to amuse himself. You just saw that was you just saw a real moment to take place in front of y'all. What's up? It's Sholo Mari Duena. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Yo estoy, yo soy Jacobo Bartrando. And this is the motherfucking Lone Lobos podcast. Welcome to this week's episode. Y de gallina. Yes, you have goosebumps, Jacob. <laughs> it is a thrilling episode of the podcast, <laughs> of course, because I'm back from Vegas again. Oh, did I'm you escape? Back. Did you escape debt this time? No, <laughs> I dug deeper <laughs> into the depths <laughs> of Vegas, but this time at a different hotel. Oh, what hotel? Uh, I was at the Circa this time, and the <laughs> Four Queens Hotel in Whoa. downtown Vegas. Wow. And you know when you're playing with other 70-year-olds that, or well, other, I mean 70-year-olds, <laughs> that <laughs> it gets real. Wait, you were downtown? Um, yeah, we were in downtown. Um, oh, well, like that's that's where we ended up gambling. Um, yeah, it was it's downtown well, just because I didn't have MGM grand money, so uh, <laughs> I took my ass to the Four Queens. <laughs> um, what, what did you do? Um, blackjack, roulette, had the blackjack raps. Yeah, so the blackjack was actually pretty fun because they had this and I, they had the two for three, three for two blackjack where you have to put a dollar down every time and if you get a blackjack, you get to spin the wheel. Have you done this one? No. Oh my God, we Wait, gotta do this sick. one, bro. It's so fire. So basically- It's so fire. It's it's so f it, it, Christopher Walken. Walken. It's so um, fire. It, so basically it's blackjack. If, if the dealer- if the house, whatever, gives you a blackjack straight up, yeah, um, you get to spin this little wheel, and there's it's just like your your typical five to five thousand wheel. So you spin, and you either get five, ten, twenty, thirty. The max I got on a, a, a blackjack was fifty bucks. Whoa! Yeah, yeah. That's the max. Is fifty? No, five thousand is the max. Yeah, yeah. Five thousand is the jackpot. Is like the. Is, it's just tiny, tiny, tiny. But slower. dude, it always goes like five thousand five. <laughs> <laughs> the five dude, are huge dude. right next to it. Yeah, no, yeah. they're all equally. No, they're Wait, all really? equally. Yeah, it's just it's just a it's computer gotta slowing be, it down yeah, or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, so it was a good time. I lost all of my money. Damn. Um, I won a lot, a good amount of money in sports betting as well because the Super Bowl. Oh, yeah, Super, yeah. Super Bowl was this weekend. <laughs> and, uh, and I will be... Yeah, I'm embarrassed to say I lost all of that as well. Oh, the um, betting money? Yeah. I thought you made like 200 to 300 bucks on the McCaffrey bet. Yeah, I did. I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and it just... Oh. Well, yeah, I was just like, well, I only have one night out here. We should go back to the... <laughs> <laughs> you're like, let's get it back. Hey, that's the attitude to have, though. When you're down, you got to have the attitude of, like, I'm like, getting it back. Well, I wasn't down. I was up again because I won on the sports bet. Oh. <laughs> so I was like, let's go. <laughs> um, let's it all. Yeah, Super Bowl was great, whatever. Um, no, 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 the Super Bowl was cool, but before we get into the Super Bowl, I want to hear about your, your Comic-Con, you were with the gang, it was sick, it was super fun, Dragon uh, Con, what was it, no, it was just Atlanta Con, <laughs> Atlanta Con, we don't need a reason, no, we just, Atlanta, we exist. no dragons here, it was pretty good, the first day was um, pretty busy, and then the, obviously the Sunday was pretty slow, because it was a Super Bowl, but, 
it was pretty cool. Met lots of cool people. Um, got to meet lots of Lone Lobos fans. So that no was way. Fun. Yeah, dude. Like one out of every three or four people that came up was like, "Hey, by the way, I love the podcast." No uh, shit. Yeah, it was super cool. It was, it was very sick. That's also, fucking me right. Me and Gianni were on a freaking grind. I just introduced him to Pokemon. He's okay. never played a Pokemon game in his entire life. What? How? I don't know. Especially because he's. It just seems like it would fit. Like he would like it. So I was like, dude, I feel like you would like this. He bought a Game Boy Advance SP. Oh my he got god. a DS. Oh my god. Got like a hundred dollars worth of games each. Okay, just and- throw them under the bus here. <laughs> 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 Whoa, we're, look, yeah, his spending habits this, don't like- need to be out there. Um, um me okay. and him are starting a new project together where we're gonna convert a Wii, a Nintendo Wii, okay. into like a portable handheld system. Okay. So, you know, we're really just binary brother nerding it out together. Whoa, okay. And uh, but how will I play just dance on the DS? So you're gonna set up the little handheld, and it'll, you just dance. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Word. No, no controller needed. All right. Well, will I still also be able to play Nintendo Dogs? Or yeah. No? Whoa. You no can play Nintendo Dogs. You can play Pokemon Crystal. You'll be able to play everything up to Wii. Even Ooh. GameCube games. It's pretty. It's a yeah, pretty dude. Cool. Can I play Pokemon Farm? Yeah. I, I don't know. I don't that know was, what that is. <laughs> that was, it was a game that was on the Wii. It was just oh, like, really? Yeah. yeah it was just you were, you were on a farm and like every once in a while, a um, Pokemon would come to your house. No. Speaking of ten, uh, tying the Super Bowl and the con together, I was talking Whoa. to a fan who was at the con. And, you know, a question I just, if people aren't really, sometimes people come up and they're really nervous. So, like, I'll have just things I'll ask them. Yeah. And because the Super Bowl's around, I was like, oh. Are like, you spiritual? Yeah. <laughs> Are you saved? <laughs> um, okay. I, I asked this dude, I was like, I was like, yo, so um are you excited for the Super Bowl? And the guy, you know, was kind of rocking back and forth. Like, wasn't really talking. <laughs> Damn! You looked at his pity. Dude, just say the joke, bro. What, what did he do? Dude, I can't take you, bro. <laughs> What are you cheating, bro? I don't know. <laughs> Just, uh, <laughs> dude, I don't know. I don't know. You, you're getting me today, bro. So, so, uh, um, uh, I was like, oh, you excited for the Super Bowl? And he was like, yeah, I'm excited. And I was like, who do you want to win? And he just goes, not the Chiefs. <laughs> okay. And I was like, okay. That was, was like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, like, why? And he, he was like, oh, Taylor Swift. Oh, my God. I hate having to see her on the camera. Why is she there? Dude, we're going to get doxxed for that. Just for you repeating that sentence, they're going to come for us and no, release our address. No, I was laughing. I thought this dude was so ridiculous. But I was like, I don't know, try not to be like disrespectful to this guy. So like, you had to agree. Firm belief. No, 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 no. I was like, oh, okay. Like, I don't really get it. Like, Jacob. So- no pasa nada. Jacob, tell us more about your encounters at the comic. Con day event. Um, I think maybe you should talk about the panel. How was the panel? Oh the shit! Comic-Con. Apparently, I do have super low energy every panel. Wait, <laughs> why? Peyton was like, "Wow, Jacob, you really liked that panel. Like you, you loved it." And I was like, "What do you mean?" She was like, "Well, you were so high energy." And I was like, "Well, I'm always high energy." She's like, "No, you're usually." Super low energy for the panels. Whoa. And I didn't okay. know. I thought I don't really love interviews, to be honest. I'm sorry. I mean, is it a panel and an interview? You could talk about whatever you want, right? I mean, people walk up and, and ask questions. Oh, I like see what that's you're pretty much the whole panels. You but Peyton you're was low I was, energy. I was very high energy because Gianni was there. I mean, I was, Whoa. And do you think that that was true? Your little your little your little friend you- your friend was at the Comic Con, so I learned something really interesting about Joe's character. You have to share that. Oh, yeah. That was cool. Uh, they were asking everyone, like, what inspired your character? Like, how did you come up with your character? And Joe was like, uh, you know, I think Kyler's kind of like a gorilla. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> like, the way he walks around and, like, does everything. But then just throughout all the interviews, he kept, like, calling back to the gorilla. <laughs> and he was just like, that's what gorilla do. And he just, like, kept saying stuff like that. And it was really funny. Um, I've never heard that from Joe before. Yeah, it was it was, it was was cool to um, to hear. He 
said he'd want to play Miguel if he had to switch. Dude, lit. It was cool. The panel was was super fun. It was really cool. And I heard our own Owen Morgan was Yeah, Owen was there. Was there. Senor Burt from Cobra Kai. Peyton also roasted me on the Whoa. on the panel. It was pretty funny. They asked her what her entire favorite line in the show was, and I was like, oh, probably one of mine. And she was like, you have no good lines. Whoa. <laughs> no, I no, said that, that, that was not it. No, no. Oh, yes, I, I said I couldn't remember any. Oh, yeah. Oh. At that moment. She said I couldn't but then remember I any. one. And then the one she said was, prepare to face the fury of the hawk. Uh, <laughs> I mean, of course. That one's a classic, bro. No, but some old lady came up to me after the panel, and she's like, I loved all your stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, well, <laughs> they weren't gonna go over well. Did you say, well, we got more cooking for you, good looking? <laughs> and then run away? <laughs> run away from your booth? <laughs> that would have been, she would have been like, wow. It was funny <laughs> when we were at the when we were at the booth, every person that came up and was like, I'm only here for you, Peyton. Peyton would go, Hear that, Jacob? They're only here for me. <laughs> and it would be, like, dude. I would look over, and it's like some dude in like a pink Power Ranger costume, and he'd be like, mm-hmm. Dude, why was that a Marty ass tendency right there, bro? <laughs> you said that, and you could have replaced Peyton with Marty, and I would have, there would have been a pink Power Ranger standing across from Marty. He would have been at Billy. Look, Billy, <laughs> they're here for me. They're they like me and Rambo. <laughs> but, um,. <laughs> Alas, I'm so glad to hear that that the con went well. I I miss going to the con with cons with y'all. I um yeah, it's gonna be fun to get to be back on the road, getting to go freaking all over the world. Yeah, it was it was really cool. Oh, you know what I saw there? I saw um uh Jacob Romero who plays Usopp on One Piece. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I haven't seen him in a really really long time. He's just shout out Jacob. You're a sweet homie. Shout out, shout out Jacob. And shout out Jacob. Yeah, shout out Jacob. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, fire, fire, and what else? Um, no, I'm saying that's a transition. Oh, okay. Woof, 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 woof. The flame has come back in. <sighs> oh yes, that sauna was nice. <laughs> um, we're back. The Super Bowl. It was my second Super Bowl, I have to say. That you've been to? That I've been to, yeah. Wait, you went to I went to the first year that the the, the Super Bowl was in LA at the SoFi Stadium. Oh, um, how do I not remember that? It was... Which one was better? Um, They were better in different ways. The game, this game felt better. It felt more of like a tug. Mm-hmm. But the but the first Super Bowl was Los Angeles and they won in LA. Yeah. I mean, savage, right? Wait, how is that allowed? I thought it was supposed to be like... No home field advantage. I think it happened to be in LA. Oh, they decide where it is, like at the beginning of the season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, I didn't know that. I yeah, always thought yeah. it was like they just pick a place in between the two. No. Um. No. 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 So. So. I don't know how it works, but it doesn't work they that pick, way. Yeah, they pick. One. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> next year will be. I don't know how it works, but New it Orleans. doesn't work the way you think it is. Yes. 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 Whoa, yes. Next year's New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Yo. Oh, well, we could get some scrap, dude. That's gonna be. A crazy time. Um, but a my one of my favorite parts of the Super Bowl is always the halftime show. Mm. I always loved. I mean, I never cared about football really, even until this fucking year. Usher, Usher. Um, and and Usher did the halftime show this year. I love Bruno. Is Bruno is the best halftime show I think I've seen. Prince. Beyonce was great as well. Prince. Oh, okay, I haven't seen that far back. I wasn't alive when Prince did it, right? No, we were alive. Did I mean maybe we're googling? Oh, he just did it for real. I want to say he did in like 2012. It was in 2007, bro. Okay, Okay. I was was sick. Sorry, DJ. Sorry. (laughs) What? I thought you were gonna just say something profoundly. No, I was gonna say DGIF. Literally saying "Purple Rain" and it started raining. Whoa, that's pretty legit. Usher did this. (laughs) <laughs> and I and I wanted and I wanted us to I thought the oh move was God. so every all of my social media has just been that move Prince made it rain Usher did and I wanted us to recreate that move that Usher move okay so 
we can go first. This is the part that maybe we need the camera help for. All right, camera operator, hurry up. <sighs> no, sorry. Camera operator does not need to hurry up. Hurry up, camera operator. But maybe, <laughs> let's see. Camera's on, camera's on. Three, two, one, action. <laughs> it sounds so quiet. <laughs> We don't have the music on. It's just and your the ruffling crowd clothes. crowd goes mild. So, all in all, thank you so much, Usher, for, for all that you've done for this podcast, all that you've done for me. I remember when I was nine and I saw you in that elevator and I just, um, you know... I shared with you some really important words and he gave me some of the best advice, you know, well, you that really? I've ever gotten. Well, what did he say? He said, I can't say it. I mean, it's too precious. Yeah, keep out of here. He's like, yeah. No, no. But, you really met him when you're in the... No, 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 no. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> no, but I just like to imagine that, you know, like Usher is, Usher is like my big Z, you know. <laughs> like I was just in Shiverpool, and then Usher came into my town, and then I was like, I can do it, and now I'm <laughs> him, you know. <laughs> Dude, doctor's name? Yeah, go, my son, be free. Um, this 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 is my big Z. You have a big Z, a dude that came to Claremont. Did Cesar Chavez ever come to Claremont? What? You heard me. For the people who don't know, what is a big Z? Oh, you're right. You're right. Sorry. For the, the for those of y'all out there who don't know who Big Z is, there's this movie Surfs Up that came out. Um, and Big Z is the character, the famous surfer played by Jeff Bridges, who is the idol of Shia LaBeouf. Ah. Uh. Um, and... What, yeah, and Usher is my big C. You know? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, my big Z is I think I'm think I'm saying his name wrong because but he was the sickest dude ever, Jaimon Hansu. What did he do? Uh, he's in, um, Gladiator. Okay. He plays Russell Crowe's best friend in Gladiator. Sick. And when I was nine years old, I had an audition on the Warner Brothers lot, and I ran into him, and I was like, "Holy shit, you're the dude from Gladiator!" And he was like, "Yeah," and I was like, "That's so cool." He was like, "What are you doing here?" And I was walking alone because my mom was like parking the car. I was like, "Oh, I'm trying to find this bungalow. Like, I don't know where to go." And he like walked me like <gasps> to the bungalow. And he was super nice, and so that's in my head canon. I got like his email, Whoa. and then we would like email back and forth. And he would like give me advice and stuff, like life advice. Whoa, Jacob's like my mom won't. My, <laughs> my mom keeps cutting my avocado weird. What do I do? I keep <laughs> eating crayons and my stomach hurts. What do I do? He's like, well, son, you're just gonna have to drink some Pepto and eat some tubs. Yeah. No, I dude, well shout out the dude from Gladiator. I haven't seen that movie, but now when I watch it, I'm gonna be like, you go. What's no, I mean name? just to be clear, we did not swap email like that. Never that stuff never happened. Oh. I'm saying like I wish, I wish that would have happened. Oh. He did walk me around, but I I wish that would have. Oh, okay, happened. okay, okay. I'm saying he so, would have been my big Z if I right, if I knew right, what email right. was. Got happened. you. Well, shut up, Glassfoot. In that case, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Watch Gladiator, then it's, it's it just bumped back down a couple. Of Why is the making Hans Zimmer score in that? It's, it's because we still have to finish. It is our last week before the Oscars oh, arrive. Yeah. We need to watch those movies. Uh, we are just a few away. I think I've heard so much about poor things that I feel like I've seen the movie. And what he does is cheering. <laughs> and yet you haven't seen the movie. So uh, I guess there it is. The truth just plop right there. You see it right there? It's just right in yeah. front of us. That's, my big Z would not want me to watch it. That's How many more movies do you have to watch in the best movies category, Jacob? Zone of Interest, Anatomy Past of the Lives. Fall. Oh, yeah. What is it? Anatomy Killers of the Killers of the Flower Moon. Killers of the Flower Moon. Poor Things. Oh, gosh. oh my God. That's, that's it. That's it? I think so. I need to watch the color purple naiads and what's the one that starts? Rustin. 
<clears throat> I would like to see those as well. You saw Barbie? Yeah. I saw Barbie. Nice. Progress. Yeah. I mean, Snaps that, to you. Good. Yeah. So now the whole pod's seen Barbie. Now the whole pod the whole pod has seen Barbie, Barbie the so whole we pod can agree. Loves the patriarchy. And we've seen American fiction. Yep. Have no you seen American fiction? Yeah, did you like American fiction, Monica? Seems like that's a no. I haven't watched it. I just finished it. Oh. oh did you like okay. it, Jordan? I loved it. Okay. I, yeah. I yeah. I haven't seen much of the other ones. I'm still going down my list just like you, but yeah, yeah. I thought American fiction was great. And breaking the fourth wall. What do you, you think of Mr. and Mrs. Smith? You've been watching that. Oh, I I know I have to share my opinion. I thought the first scene of Mr. and Mrs. Smith okay. was I couldn't even tell you really what it was. It just felt like the tone of like what they were trying to do and like the performances in the first scene just didn't match up at all. Hmm. And it felt really out of place like the characters felt super out of place and it had i was really hard for me to believe what was going on in the first scene i really did not like the first scene okay okay um, whoa whoa but after that um did we ever see those characters again so far no i'm four episodes okay. In and I haven't seen them <laughs> okay okay no, no no but like if you're watching the first episode and you like want to get into the show that first scene is really misleading of how i Got you. What I thought the rest of the show was about. Um, it's slower paced for sure. Okay. The dialogue is awesome. It seems like a lot of it was improv. Okay. Um, and Maya Erskine, I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Um, yeah, that's, that's right. Maya Erskine, yeah. But you are amazing. She is so good in the show. And Donald Glover is always amazing. Um, but I, I've been loving it. I think it's really, really cool. The only thing that I don't love about the show is that they call it Mr. and Mrs. Smith. I think it's really misleading mm-hmm. for um, people who have watched the original. Yeah, because I was wa- I came into it expecting a Mr. and Mrs. Smith remake, this sort of like hot But did action. you? Because you watched the trailer. The trailer doesn't say it's not going to be that. But it is not that. It is not that, but the trailer doesn't like... I don't know. To me, I was like, "Oh, it's going to be a little bit more quippy. It's yeah. a it's a TV show. Like they're just going to." Did they ever address that? Um, I, I'm only four episodes in. Okay. Um, so maybe they do. Did Donald Glover ever address that? I don't know. I don't have social media. Did people ever ask him? Like, I maybe if- I don't know. I could see how the title fits Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Like, fits the show, and not if the original Mr. and Mrs. Smith didn't exist, it fits the show really well. But the Mr. and Mrs. Smith movie with Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie is very, very iconic. Whoa. Like, okay. I didn't realize that that's who the duo was. That's who the duo was. And that's when uh, Brad Pitt broke up with Jennifer Aniston. Like, it's a very popular time in So movies. the chemistry was there. The chemistry. I mean, that movie is just, I don't know. I watched that movie when I was like 10. It was like, wow, this is a crazy action movie. They got a bazooka. You know? um, but the show's awesome. It's a slow burn. The acting's really awesome it's a very beautifully shot show as well and they have a really cool guest star characters in it too yeah i'm looking at the list right now alexander skarsgård isa gonzalez paul dano um paul dano is really good in it and john turturro's in the i want to say second episode and he's so good dude john turturro is so freaking good in the second episode and then who's the guy from that spanish show heist money heist yeah money heist He's in it. You mean uh, the woman? No, 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 no. Are you referring to Brazilian actor, director, and filmmaker Wagner Mora? Oh my God. Yes. Dude, what the heck? Yeah, Narcos, you mean? Yes, Narcos. Dude, yes. he's in it. He's great in it. He's literally the most legendary Brazilian actress out there. Actress, actor. yeah. I love that. <laughs> 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 Oh, goodness. Um, he's really good in it, though. I haven't got to the point where the girl from Money Heist is in it, though. Have, have you seen Money Heist? It? I have, yeah. Okay. La Casa I, de Papel. La Casa de Papel. My parents <clears throat> were obsessed with that show, and they're like, you have to watch the show. It's so good. And so I caught up to where they were on like half midway through season two. And I was like, oh, are you guys ready to watch it? And I hit play. And they were like, what the heck? Why is it in Spanish? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Wait, but what? how? They- you guys have been... They watch it dubbed. Right, but their lip flaps. Yeah. 
Okay, I was like, this is a fuck you? And my dad was like, I don't want to read. I don't want to read. Oh, I was dude, like, I'm dude, dead. what? Dude, I'm dead. Yeah, it was, it was, re- it was really funny. That's but, hilarious. I mean, my dad, he works a lot of hours and does math all day. And that's the... No, yeah, 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 yeah. But Your family should finish the series. Um, yeah, I mean, that show is really good. That first season is crazy awesome. Berlin. Should watch the doc. You should watch the documentary on it that they did. There's a documentary on it. I mean, that mm-hmm. show was like crazy popular. Mm-hmm. Did you see it? No, it's really good. I like the guy who plays Ro, the young kid, like the love interest kid. Oh, Rio, Rio. Yeah, that's who he plays. He's awesome. So, are you are you going to end up uh, heading out this weekend? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm escaping. Let the podcast know. I mean, you're gonna you're gonna talk about it next episode. Where are you headed? That's true. Um, my dad got a week off, or got a a Friday and a Monday off, and okay. there's been some really good snowfall lately. So I'm escaping to Deer Valley. Um, Did you go uh, skiing at all when you went on your backpacking trip with him in the no. snow? Mm-mm. Okay, that was okay. Yeah, yeah, no. We get to go skiing. Um, I've never skied Deer Valley before. Okay. Um, all I know about it is that it's like insanely bougie. Okay. Um, the but that's okay. I mean, where's like the really you know Baldy? Oh, okay, okay. That's Big red. Bear. Okay, okay. Like Mountain High. Okay, okay. Um, Mam- I wouldn't say Mammoth is like super bougie. Okay. Like okay. Lake, I would can say like Lake Tahoe is bougie. Like Aspen is bougie. I mean, okay. skiing is an expensive sport, anyways. Okay. But I went to go book my hotel at Deer Valley. I was like, oh, the cheapest one is twelve hundred a night. Whoa. That's cool. Like that's, that's crazy. cool. Um, they have some that are a lot cheaper, but they're like, you know, you gotta drive thirty minutes out of the out of the way. Um, Jacob drives out. like two hours to the beach. It's different when you like have your skis. It's different and, when like, you're on vacation. You're on vacation. You just want to be at the no, lodge. Dude, when you I know? go to when I go to, I mean, I don't know Deer Valley that well, so I'm sure there's cheaper accommodations. But when I go to Mammoth, my dad and I stay at the Quality Inn, and you just take your skis to the bus stop, and a bus picks you up and drops you off right in front of the. Um, I've been to Mammoth with you. Yeah. I've been to the Quality Inn. You have been to the the Quality Inn. Yeah, it's true. Um, It's easy. It's super easy. But um, I am stoked to go to Deer Valley. It's supposed to be cool. I've skied Park City before. Park City's sick. I've never skied Deer Valley. Please be safe. Dude, I know what I'm fucking doing. I'm going to be fine. What is the thing? Can you, can you, for all of the skiers out there, for anyone who might be trapped ever in the Andes, can you tell us what it is that people are doing when they do this to the snow? <laughs> what is that? Wait, what? That, that what is that? When they're testing the snow? Yeah. You're just testing it for just the snow quality to just see the- if it's safe to, to ski, ski around. And what happens if it's not? I've only ever seen nothing happen from people doing that. I don't just don't go that way. No, no, no. I'm saying, when people do that and they're like, all right, it's good to go. Oh, you've never seen when someone say, oh, shit, we yeah. can't. You just don't go that way. You traverse around, go somewhere else. No. How do you know when not to go? Like they're doing, they're padding the snow, right? Yes. They figure out when they hit it 10 times or whatever. Ah, okay. It's the way the, way the snow will fall. Oh, okay. Yeah. So how will it fall if it's bad? I don't know, hundred percent. Oh, my I just God. go. So we just have to. So if you're ever I, in an avalanche, sorry, <laughs> they're probably, dude. They're gonna they're gonna go back to the moment that they were listening to this podcast and, and be, be like, like oh, "What did Jacob shit. say? What did Jacob say? How do I know?" Oh, no, it's he never said. It's oh. it's you can. How I understand it, you can just take a shovel and you kind of like test the snow quality dude, for someone who's my about to do crazy yeah. <laughs> skiing. My, my, he's, you're about to get eaten up, my boy. Nah, you my, my dad's always the one that does, that does it. Okay, all right. Well, I can't wait to have him on the podcast. Yeah, he'll be able to tell you. We have to do. I don't know Dude, when Father's Day is, but he should come sometime up in here. May. My it's dad, in June. When he was in high school, his job was he was a ski patrolman in high school at Mount Baldy. Okay, and his Whoa. job was to test for avalanches. Yeah, um, before the mountain would open. And so him and his buddy Steve would you know, hike up to the top of the mountain and my dad would have avalanche bombs in his backpack, like literally just bombs. And he would ski down partially and be like, all right. There has to be a better way to tell if there's an avalanche than this was like 82. (laughs) What the heck? Oh, no, 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 80 
86 maybe? Is it 86? I thought screaming worked in the cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to clapping? What, what the like? heck? Why the no, heck? That's, that's what they would do. And so my dad would have to do that every morning. And then he really wouldn't have like a ton to do later. So they would just like build ski jumps and like do crazy jumps and stuff. And oh, to be a 15 year old in yes, the mid 80s. Ski lift instructor. I'm sure your dad has some gnar stories. Yeah, they found a dead body. Oh, goodness. Okay, well. Yeah, they found a dead body one day. I hope that we never have to find a dead body. That would be wild. Yep, it would be wild. And on that note, Jacob, should you, is there anything you want to manifest? I want to practice. I want to be really comfortable landing backwards on my skis. That's my goal for this month. That's okay. 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 Uh, the new Karate Kid has been announced. So, Jacob. Um, I'm so sorry, Jacob. Yeah. We yeah, didn't get the up. role. Dude, it's, you didn't get the role, dude. It wasn't you. Ugh. So, can Jacob, I guess, can I guess the, who, who the, got the role? The new Karate Kid got announced. The Jackie Chan, um, Ralph Macchio Karate Kid movie that's coming out later is has found their new Karate Kid. Do you know who it is? Would you like to guess who it is? Is it Jimmy Liu from American Born Chinese? Jimmy Liu? I haven't seen American Born Chinese, but I don't know. Let's I think the him. young man is from American Born Chinese. Is it really? Jimmy Liu? Dude, it should be. That guy is really good. It's Ben Wang. Oh! oh, I could totally see that as well. Okay. He's, yeah, he, that I... guy's really good. Congrats, Ben Wang. Congrats, Ben Wang. I guess we have to. Well, that to makes get us to get a peek of what the heck. Did you watch American Born Chinese? I, I read. The I book. watched the first two episodes. Um, it was really good. He he definitely has like the um, like the er, 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 um, of Daniel. Uh, no, like of lead. The like I'm the underdog, like lead character. Maybe I'm a little okay. Yeah, socially awkward. Er, 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 um. I wonder, does he do martial arts? I don't know. He I'm. He must in the show, in American Born Chinese. At least the kid Jimmy Liu does a lot. That's what I'm thinking of him because yeah. he he knows, or it seems like he he did a lot of his own stunts. He's skilled in martial arts, including karate, wing chun, kung fu, kempo, and taekwondo. But oh, is wow. he is he proficient in all those in the same way that I'm proficient in, in skating and skiing <laughs> and skateboarding and rollerblading on my resume? Well, he's also fluent in Mandarin. Whoa! He is. He does speak a lot of Mandarin in um, American okay. Chinese. Well, I yo, I wasn't coming at him for Mandarin. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, so yo, I just I wonder what the heck it will be for us if we have the opportunity to have something last forty years, a character last forty years, like let's say something that like. What if fucking in 40 years, they're like, yo, we got to bring Kirby Buckets back. Dude, hear me out. And parenthood, but it's all about the kids this time. Parents up. of the parenthood. Mm -hmm. Like that title, that movie, The Outlaws. Your name was Victor? Victor. Oh, I'm Victor dude. Goraham. Goraham? Yeah. Graham. This is it. I think this will be the franchise that's going to last 100 years. I know. I really do think that there is a world where I just, I mean, the the only way it doesn't happen if is, is if in like 40 years, just like the world is on fire <laughs> <laughs> and nobody watches TV anymore. <laughs> Dude, that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the world's on fire. <laughs> what if in like... That was so good. <laughs> Go ahead, Monica. Monica. What, what, what if in like 50... 55 years like you guys gonna call and be like hey we want you both to come back and reprise your roles as hawk and miguel for the like spinoff 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 yeah that was quick yeah i mean would you still yeah, have your mohawk not? oh my mm, gosh your character would be like yeah depending on the 60. hairline situation it's 40 years right no nah, i'm definitely How's the hair. male pattern baldness i mean d simmons or what's his name D. Snyder, Richard Simmons. Oh, Richard Simmons from Kiss. Yeah, that he still does his get up. That's not Richard Simmons. <laughs> that's not Richard Simmons. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Richard Hold on. Simmons. That's 
Gene Simmons. Richard Simmons is the exercise guy. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. So wait, so which is the guy that I'm thinking of? You're thinking of Gene Simmons. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, I led you astray. I led you astray. Yeah. Okay, okay. You're like, yeah, Gene Simmons. Okay, okay. Yeah, Simmons. Yeah, the yeah. dude from Kiss. Are that, they that dude. No, they're not they're related. Brothers, they're brothers. So you got to. Um, yeah, I guess my kids probably think it's funny. Do you? Are you going to bald? I don't think so. Bald? Isn't it the... Because what would they do? <laughs> they, they, yeah. They just... Just the just the like glue this the part yeah just that part no isn't it your mom's dad right yeah I I hear that's what I hear yeah yeah I'll put you to a main well right. we do have there. some people looking for some advice and it's kind of related to what we just talked about oh so this okay, is shoot, kind of not shoot. it's not a love daddy love doctor advice it's just Shul and Jacob we need your advice and it's related to last, to, to Ben Wang daddy and love doctor here's a question for Jacob and Sholo. Uh, from Brian. I went to college with Ben Wang, the new Karate Kid. We were friends for oh, two shit. years and we worked on a short film. Oh. Um, we lost touch shortly I and I guess we had... I was in college. Uh, we lost funny. touch shortly. I looked up to him as an older brother figure because he was a year ahead of me in school. Um, but my question is, if you guys were in my shoes or being on the other side of the table in this case, what do you think I should do? What would be the best way to try and reach out? Do I reach out now or wait until later in life when the opportunity seems to bit more reachable there was stuff to work on together that i still want to do with him love the podcast and thanks for all you do and thanks for all the deep convos so question from brian hmm. have you guys been in that situation where that's a really um like vulnerable question that's cool thanks bro um that is a hard spot to be in i think if i got hit up by like an old classmate that was younger than me and like I used to hang out with, I would not feel weird about it. Um, I think the worry of, oh, is he just going to think I'm clout chasing? Like yada, yada, yada. I mean, you knew him. It sounds like in college and you guys did short films together. Like it seems like you knew him before that stuff. Like, I don't know. I don't think it seems that bad. Like 100% agree with Jacob. Yeah. Just I, I also think, wouldn't put it past him though. Like, if you DM him or you don't have his number and you DM him and like he doesn't see the DM, like I don't even have Instagram on my phone. Like Sholo misses a lot of DMs. Like, bruh, you were either cool or you weren't cool. Yeah, hundred. You were in the class and you were hanging out, and the homie is gonna recognize you your name when he pops up, or he's not. The worst that could happen is he's not, and whatever. Well, the worst and that can happen. You end up meeting him later. Yeah, the worst thing that can happen is like, <laughs> yeah, I, I remember hated you. you actually. Yeah, I remember yeah. you, but that's not gonna happen. We know that that's not gonna happen. So, you definitely just you just reach out to men. Yeah, you reach out to men. Like, dude, that's so sick. You tell him, tell him the Karate Kids, let you know that the other Karate Kid. Oh yeah, yeah. You let can him say, know. dude, the guy with the mohawk who always loses all of his fights on Cobra Kai said it's chill if I hit you up because. Your shows are semi- also. This guy just related. has the degree of separation between him and the Karate Kids now is just insane. Yeah, and that's just like true. I'm, actually, <laughs> <laughs> you are the next Karate Kid, bro. Um, um you you just yeah you yeah reach just out. reach out. I think you'd be super chill. With that, Jacob, please do us the honor. Do us the honor. Sending us out. Send us out and or maybe let us know your song of the week. Oh. What you've been listening to. Did you maybe have one? Did you maybe have one that, that someone suggested? I wrote it down in my notes. This is for you, Grace. Um, we met at the, what are you sniffing? We met at the uh, Comic-Con this weekend. Your sweetheart. Thank you so much for my No Pasa Nada bracelet. Bro, where the fuck is my bracelet? Oh, I need bro? to give Shiloh his. I still haven't given it yet. Um. I have it though. I didn't lose it. But um it. we were talking about U2 and um my little brother has also uh showed me this band as well. It's called Inhaler. It's um Bono from U2. It's his son's band. And Whoa. Grace recommended we have to move on by Inhaler. Okay, how does it go? It just look version. at the no, just don't listen to it. Look at the lyrics. Tell me how it goes, bro. On this rainy day. I beg your hand in marriage. <laughs>
I feel it's been a pleasure to bathe in my own discomfort. When I'm on my knees and I feel a little spontaneous. Honey, I've lost my ring, but I want you to know it's on purpose. Like it's your last night. Bum, 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 bum. Move on! Bum, 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 bum. In the last night, always shut off. Or you go outside, move on. In the last night, <laughs> move on. Come on. Oh, I have made mistakes. <laughs> Yo, she's like, you just ruined the song for me. <laughs> Yo, everyone has been talking about, I haven't heard the song, um, but everyone, maybe my song of the week will be, Joe Keery has this band. Oh. And he has this thing, this song that I've been hearing everyone on TikTok where he goes, When I go back to Chicago. What? Uh, maybe you found out about him having a band a while ago. I remember hearing about this like a long time ago. When I go back to Chicago. Just look up that. Joe Keery, go back to Chicago. And while Jacob does that, Jordan and Monica, please. My song of the week. In honor of Mahino Alelo Month, which is Hawaiian Language Month, I'm choosing a song. It's a hyper pop song called Shapeshift by Kaala and DeFalco. Dude, um, lit. Yeah. And that's my song of the week. Oh, yeah. Joe. End of beginning. Dude, love that. Joe Carey, your hair is great and your music also great. I would be really curious who is. Um... Influences are. Hopefully, we can get him on. <gasps> that would be cool. They're out here. Hito always says he's he was like the sickest fucking dude. They're out here. They're out here. They're out here. Sorry to put you on blast, Hito, but I feel like that's an okay thing to say. He said joke here was super fucking cool. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. That's a direct quote. Yeah. Um, quick, Jacob, option A or option B? I said B. Uh, I was going to say A. Sholo, option A or option B? A. Okay, A wins. Um, my song of the week is <laughs> Cutting Crews, I Just Died in Your Arms. I, I just one. died in your arms tonight. tonight. It must have been something you see us do. All right, y'all. Well, you know what this means. We've concluded our episode. It's... uh. 11 the frick o'clock at night <laughs> and we have work tomorrow so I guess that means we should wrap it up it's been real it's been fun it's been Jacob and his honey bun <laughs> <laughs> that's our new outro um, if you liked this video make sure to check out oh, the, next one. the other videos yeah, um, if this was your first time listening to the podcast, uh, we have other episodes uh, with people that maybe you've heard of before. We have some of our friends from Cobra Kai, some of our friends from Life, some family members. So please check out our other episodes um, and check also the description for all the other places you can reach us. Thank you for submitting your questions, your comments, for giving us love on our episodes. We've been having more guests on than ever. Thank you for the good response. Um, and oh, I've been itching to do some fucking, some fucking relationship uh, like type advice. Love Dr. Love Daddy. Yeah, hit us up. We had a great question from Brian. We had a also, great question from Brian. Brian, don't be scared. Don't Everybody be scared. in the world say it on three. One, two, three. You we can, love Ben we, Wang. We love Ben Wang. <laughs> hit him up. Okay. <laughs> hit him up. Hit him up. Hit up Ben Wang. He is so cool. Yes, congrats to Ben Wang and only Ben Wang on the Karate Kid. Yeah, those are the only congrats we give. No, we should actually give congrats to um, Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan for getting to work with Ben Wang. Oh, that's true. That's a big step forward for These them. guys, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. this is going to really, you know, just help their when career. I see Ralph just... tomorrow and be like, dude, you got to let me know what Ben Wang's like. We'll see y'all in the next episode. Episode 40 back. Si se puede. Episode 40. Wait, episode 40 since we've been back? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn. How do you say 40? 40. 40. 40. 40. Episodio. Episodio. Epi what?
episodio, right? Mm -hmm. Episodio 40. Yep. 40. Great. Good night. Arigato gozaimasu. This episode of Lone Lobos is a Lone Lobos production produced by Monica Tamayo and JMKM with intro music by Nicholas Gray. Like what you hear? Check us out on Instagram at Lone Lobos.